All right. Hello there. My name is Gabe Barrios. Hope you're having a great day. I'm going to go ahead and show you today how to utilize your photo logo in your basic video editor. Now, I do advise that you do this on a computer. It can be a laptop. It can be a desktop. It can be, I know you have Apple products. So it can be an iMac. It can be a Mac Mini, a MacBook Pro, even a MacBook Air. And I'm going to show you how to use this in two different editors today. Um, I'm assuming you already have these downloaded, but if not, you're going to, of course, want to download your files. You can definitely choose to organize these on your computer or on an external drive, just whatever is going to work best for your workflow. Now, once you have these organized, we're going to go ahead and open our video editor. As you can see, I've already had some clips already pre-selected and these imported, but you would import your files. Now, this is just a, uh, this is just a dance video that I filmed for a convention. We're going to throw it over because it's nice and dark. I'm going to drag this video file into my timeline and then i'm going to go ahead and drag the logo over the video to where i would like it to be now make sure it's over you can place it to the side or you can bring it in the middle of the video it's up to you if you want it at the beginning you're going to go ahead and stack this logo now you can go ahead and see here it has video overlay options in this little square now you want to make sure that says cut out you can also choose the option for picture in picture. If you choose picture in picture, this will be easy for you to move it around, resize it. You can place it wherever you need. And it's really that simple. As you can see, the white looks really great. You can also try the black. The black is probably best for brighter videos. And then we we'll go ahead and show you the same thing in Final Cut. The process is the same just as an iMovie. Now you import the, your footage, as you can see I've already done here. And it's as simple as you dragging the video onto your timeline and then dragging the logo over your video. And when I mean over, I mean on top. You wanna to stack it physically on top of your video rather than on the side. Now once it's there, you'll see it pop up. You can go ahead and click transform and you can resize this however you'd like. Or again, you can put it at the beginning or the end of your video. Now utilizing the black or the white works, totally your preference. Depends on the video that's in the background. This one, the white looks a lot better because the video is dark. If you have a bright video, you might want to use the black. You can play around with it, and it's that simple. I hope this helped.